To love Cornwall is one thing. To fall in love with Cornwall is another. From the quaint villages, the Celtic ruins, the light blue waters of the sea, the incredible golden sandy beaches and unique architecture. It certainly is amongst the most scenic areas of England. And oh yeah, the food is good too. This place is heaven on earth. Land's end. We're gonna go there. We're gonna go there. We're going here first actually. That's me. Grandparents. Bless him. First stop is Tintangel. It's a civil parish and village situated on the Atlantic coast of Cornwall. The village and this castle are associated with the legend surrounding King Arthur. This castle was built on site by Richard I, the Earl of Cornwall in 13th century. Merlin's cave, yeah? Say no more. That's where it happens, isn't it? <laughs> this is Merlin's cave. Beyond Merlin's cave in the cliff, to your left there is a mine driven into the headland. This is King Arthur Mine, which was worked for lead and silver in 1806. <laughs> nice though, man. But on the road, this is where it happens. You Take me please. <laughs> that chair was I was I had my eye on, I had my, I had my eye on that chair. Sorry. <laughs> the road to a Cornish pasty can sometimes be unforgiving. As you can see, hiking, walking, it's not for me. Yeah, time for some replenishment for all the hard work. <laughs> I'm shattered. Nothing, nothing a Cornish bash the can't fix. I can't even talk. I'm dead. Um, can I get, uh, I'm the Cornish pasty was born around the 17th and 18th century, with fillings ranging from venison, eels, and even fruits. This was devoured by the rich upper classes. This was then later adopted by miners and farm workers. The wives of the Cornish tin miners would prepare this all in one meal to provide sustenance during those dark and damp mining days. It is believed that the crust served as a means of holding the pasty with dirty hands without contaminating the meal. The stilton is a blue stilton cheese, mm. which is quite strong. Mm. So it depends if you know that or like that. But it yeah, goes very well with we'll, go for it. We'll, we go for it. we'll go for it. We do. We'll go for it. Thank you very much. No problem. Is it true that this is the best Cornish pasty? Absolutely. <laughs> You're doing well. We are the absolute best. <laughs> Some sources state that the difference between a Devon and Cornish pasty is that a Devon pasty has a top crimp and is oval in shape, whereas the Cornish pasty is semicircular and side crimped along the curve. I I'm opting to go for the Cornish pasty. I just got here. I do not want to be deported. There is no right way. You just stuff it in your mouth. That's what she said. <laughs> it's nice, you know. See what's in it. Oh. Pasty. Pasty pasty. Very buttery, very cheesy. Oh. But it's like not too pungent. Yeah. Yeah. It's not overbearing. The taste is not at all. It's, it's a vibe. It's definitely a vibe. I like it. Yeah, I'll get that again for sure. Ooh. We set off to Fistral Beach, Newquay a place that is well known for surfing. 
and at some point in this vlog you will find out how good of a surfer I am. We have just made it in time for dinner. We head into town for some food and we stop off at a fish bar. The fish bar Nuki is a fish and seafood tapas restaurant. It's the home of the lobster burger and some of the greatest fresh fish and seafood dishes you can find in Cornwall. It's cold, man. It's so cold. I don't even think I have a dick. That's how cold it is. It's mad. It's actually mad. You're an embarrassment. <laughs> I'm waiting for the seafood dish. Um, currently in Yuki. It's big out here. Big out here. It's, you know, if you're going to come come here, you need to book in advance. That's for sure. Book well and truly in advance. And bring a fucking jacket. Bring, yeah, bring bring a jacket. Um, it's a bit of a mad thing right now, still. Mad. Mad. We order the pescaito frito. A feast of fried mixed seafood with fresh fish straight from the boat. The moules mariniere, fresh and tasty local mussels served in white wine, shallot, and garlic sauce. Patatas bravas, proper scampi, is succulent whole langoustine tails, hand dipped and fried in their house batter. Oh, I'm ready for a big munch. Ready for a big munch. I'm freezing. I'm starving. Let's do this. Seafood. Love it. Uh, no, 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 no. This is real good. Oh my god. My favorite thing on here is surprisingly the muscle. My goodness. It's got a creamy, it's buttery as well. Squeeze a lemon, gives it that little bit of it. Zing. Yeah. 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 This one. Next morning, we head off to Healy Cider. It's located deep in the heart of Cornish countryside and it's a family run business that's been making award winning ciders, wine, spirits, juices, plus much more. It's £10 entry and it includes access to all areas including the Cider Museum, the Vintage Tractor Ride which is fantastic because you get to amble down the valley to the leafy orchids that lie beneath the farm. Exciting times. My first time on a tractor. My first ever time. And you get to taste gin, you get to taste cider, more gin, more cider. Can't complain. <laughs> That's why the outtakes do. It's a no-brainer. Apparently, you squeeze it and the juice comes out. <laughs> this place has a rich history. Since planting their first tree in 1986, they've grown to become the largest independent cider maker in Cornwall and the first distillery for 300 years. It still tastes like, uh, that's like edge of whiskey in it. Mm. And it's also, it's a bit smoky, this one, the flavour of it. Mm. Yeah, I can smell the smoke, yeah, smoke in the smoke. Yeah. 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 It's nice though, isn't it? Yeah. It's just enough. You can smell it at the back of your throat. Yeah. Sure. Mm. It's so good. Mm. Sweet. <laughs> yeah, this is, yeah, I agree. It's definitely very cidery. Too easy to drink. Mm. <laughs> Way too easy. How many of these will I drink? Yeah. yeah. Till I tip over. It's nice. Real, that is all I have. I don't know which one's my favourite. It's quite, it's quite, got quite a kind of bulky oh, thing. Yeah. Yeah. But the Rattler original is quite sweet yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. So it's quite easy to drink. Yeah. Um, and this one is 6%. 6%. Six percent. And this is the kind of... Strawberry wine. <laughs> <laughs> I want more. Give me more. Yeah. Oh, well, <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> 
this is like all these ones well, this is the This is the strongest. This is the strongest, yeah? Yeah, this is how all the rattlers start and then basically they get blended with fruit juices. So all of the all of the fruity ones are about four percent. Right. So it does kind of come down with them. Um, but I'll let you try this one. Yeah, let's try it. Let's give it a go. With the fruit juices. Mm, interesting. Oh, with fruit juice. Yeah. Yeah, I normally start with 50 50 just not to butter. I think that's a classic, isn't it? It's classic. What we had last time. Don't think we're going to do the kind of more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah.
right next to Hale River is a hidden gem in the form of a black shipping container. This is Black Lobster. The locals have told me that this is the best place for seafood and that's what I'm here for. All the food at this place is fresh and caught locally. The owner and founder of Black Lobster is originally from California. So a lot of these dishes have been inspired by where she's from. First dish is squid fries. It was battered so you get that crunchy texture from the outside and the soft meatiness of that squid on the inside. It's incredibly tasty and oh my god it bangs. Next is the all American inspired fish tacos was delicious and for me it's the sauce and the pickled slaw that gives the dish life it complements the mackerel that's resting in the middle of the tackle I can't lie it's such a chore but it has to be done anyway. That's just a fancy word for what? Shell on shrimps. Oh, that's such a chore. Uh, if I wasn't being recorded right now, I'd just munch this, you know. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Shell on and everything. Yeah, man. I can't lie. I'll just munch it. If I wasn't being recorded right now. But, um, <laughs> not to be, uh, not to sound dumb or anything, but. When they asked me what crevette, when they said, oh, yeah, you crevettes, I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and then I swear, I'm like, oh, it's just shrimps. All right. But I didn't know what it was, if I'm going to be honest with you. You know what I mean? I'm not that bougie. It's meaty, isn't it? And they give you a good portion as well, I can't lie. How many prawns? One, two, three, four, five. About seven. Seven for ten pounds. With a slaw, it's messy. I and they're big shrimp. They are huge, huge. Some huge amigos right here, boy. Some hench. Jeez. Get my shrimp. This is a chore, man. You need to work on your uh, technique there. My technique is awful. Jesus. Embarrassing. Look, I can't. Let's not get excited. Yeah. But embarrassing. Get the hell out of here. All right, we got there in the end. Taste it. Um, it's so worth it. Oh my god. Um, Ten pounds. Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. Um. We head out onto the long and winding road to Land's End to catch some views. But the views came to us on our way there. What do you say, Eli? Do you know what? Certain times moments like these you just don't need to say anything you just got to take it all in silence no sirens nothing not many people just scenery you know what I'm saying I'm so used to hearing the sirens you know of the feds <laughs> So much for views. And then the ends. The ends? <laughs> Land's ends. We're in the ends, cuz. <laughs> Land's end is the most westerly point of Cornwall. This place is breathtakingly beautiful. If there was a bed, duvet cover, and a pillow, I would sleep here. Currently at the southern west tip of Cornwall, where land meets sea. Trust me, the views are it's incredible. You've got to be here to see 
I don't even think the camera's doing it any justice to be fair. You've got to be here, you've got to come and see it for yourselves. My boys were saying, oh man, Cornwall, it's like the south of France. I said, bro, don't guess, man. Just pipe down, but this, this is vibes right here. It's a, see the way the sun is kissing my skin right now. It's nice. I got all everybody your chicken legs. Arrive at Penzance. It's littered with ancient sites dating back to the Stone and Bronze Ages. We have been told that the place to go to for great food is Mackerel Sky Bar. It's a contemporary bistro with whitewashed walls serving great seafood tasting plates, focusing on Cornish produce and seafood. Here's what I ordered at Mackerel Sky Bar. Crab nachos, yes please. You get the crunchy nachos with the freshness of the crab is definitely a sick combo. Trust me, it bangs. I've become somewhat of a shell on prawns connoisseur. Now I'm able to remove the shell without taking an hour to do so. Finally, succulent beefy scallops with Cornish ducker and red peppers. The flavours all come together and it bangs. I love it. If you're in Penzance, make sure you pass through Mackerel Sky Bar. Today is the day where you find out if I can surf or not. Surfing today. Come on. Ready, ready to ride away. You know what I'm saying? Need a life jacket, bro. You're gonna come save me. <laughs> you better jump in and help me out, you know. I'm a bit nervous now still. But before that, it's time for some Cornish breakfast on the South Key Hub which has plenty of options to choose from when it comes to food. It's just called a cream tea, it's not really cream tea. The cream tea. That's what I just said, what's the difference? Tea cream. Cream tea. <laughs> no, it's a cream tea. <laughs> what are you saying? It's a good tea. It's a good tea. I've been told to be careful with the way I apply spread on scones because this could lead to permanent deportation out of Cornwall. You have the Devon way and then you have the Cornish way. The Devon way is clotted cream and then strawberry jam on top. The Cornish way is the strawberry jam and the clotted cream on top. Time for the moment of truth. Is the uh, cream first? Cream first, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I suppose it's not as dry as I thought it would be. Well, from, from the it's green light, light. It's quite fluffy actually. Really? Mm. You know what? Oh, it's still. It's because you're in Cornwall, isn't it? <laughs> I'm not biased. <laughs> this is my good friend Tom. He's Cornish, born and raised, 
originally from Truro. He is going to teach me how to surf. didn't have much success as I thought I would do. That was pretty much my surfing experience, doing a plank on a surfboard and not being able to get up. However, I did manage to catch a wave, but the camera woman got impatient. What's the best thing you like about Cornwall? Um, beaches, has beaches, then pasties. <laughs> really? Yeah. You love your pasties? Yeah. Hold the Greg steak slice. Yeah. <laughs> Disgrace. Disgrace of a pastry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's just like, you know, it's great having the beaches, great going out of the water. Yeah. What do you do for a night out here? Well, that's the problem. Like, when you're 18, there's like a handful of clubs. Mm. Club International in Falmouth. <laughs> we end our journey in Falmouth a town that has been shaped and influenced by its strong connection to the sea. This town is building a name for itself as one of the South West leading cultural and festival destinations. I, on the other hand, came for the food. Lemon Twist serve simple rustic fresh tapas with a fusion of classic Mediterranean cooking and fresh local Cornish seafood. For starters, I order one raw oyster and one grilled oyster. This is my first time having this, so don't judge me, don't judge me. It's very good to begin with. It's an acquired taste. It takes a while. It's very fishy. Very fishy. This is basically... This is grilled, this is grilled in garlic buttery sauce. <laughs> a lot of mouth action there. What do you think? That was banging. I like this one better. I'm alive. Raw food. So this is goat cheese, uh, deep fried in filo pastry, uh, covered in balsamic sort of glaze. I love balsamic glaze. Love it. But, uh, you know what? I can't have that. I can have that on anything. Um, in here you've got figs, goat cheese. Anyways, let me bite into it. You'll see what I mean. see anything in there but it's honestly it's so good I'm gonna wipe a lot of balsamic in there <laughs> the 
seafood platter comes with scallops, hake, prawns on skewers, mussels, plus much more. This is the perfect way to end our trip. So delicious. Too delicious. Describe everything. Right. And they complement each other. Obviously, we know that scallops and chorizo go well together, but the way they've done this, the combination of the saltiness and the the, the kick that you get from the chorizo, the spicy, fiery kick you get from the chorizo is nice. You have to come to Lemon Twist to get this bread and dip it in that mussel sauce. It's buttery, garlic, wine. It's heaven. It's pleasure. I love it. So only one way to end this trip. Some rattler. Me and this guy, we're not friends, you know. Rattler. This thing got me wobbly. Come on. It's been a pleasure. To love Cornwall is one thing. To fall in love with Cornwall in Cornwall is another. The best way to sum up my experience in Cornwall is to read a poem. A poem cited from the Voice of Reason Poetry. In the land of pasties and the Cornish cream tea where the waves roll in and the gulls fly free, where this island stops and you are surrounded by sea, the beauty of Cornwall will forever be in me.